Welcome back to our boating journey. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it, and it really helps us out. In this episode, we head back to the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show to tour the 2023 Absolute Nevada 75. It's quite the boat. Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott, and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities and the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. Last year, we brought you a tour of the Absolute Nevada 73 at the Seattle Boats Afloat Show. With an overall length of just a couple more feet, the Nevada 75 seemed so much bigger and roomier than its little sister. Climbing aboard, the aft outdoor living space is incredibly spacious featuring freestanding furniture designed by Minotti to give the owner plenty of opportunity to customize it to meet their needs. The wet bar to starboard also cleverly houses the aft navigation controls. Moving inside, the wide open design provides sight lines from stern to bow. The salon feels like a high-end hotel lobby with more Minotti styled furniture. With plenty of seating, storage, and hidden TV, you and your guests will be traveling in pure comfort. Moving forward, the sleek and modern dining table has room to comfortably seat eight. With large windows, you'll enjoy the best views while dining. The galley features a retractable divider to provide full separation between the galley and dining area. The true galley-style galley features built-in Mealy appliances throughout including a convection oven, a full-height fridge and freezer, a four-burner cooktop, and an isotherm ice maker. There's also a pass-through to the lower helm and doors located port and starboard of the galley for easy access to the outside. Forward of the galley, you'll find the lower helm station. The helm station features a Volvo assisted docking controller, one 24 inch display, and two 22 inch displays, bow and stern thrusters, and stairs to the upper helm station and a private pass through to the galley. Again, moving forward of the helm station and down a few steps, you'll find the full beam private primary suite. The ensuite features double vanity with a Calicutta marble countertop, electric toilet, and enclosed shower, again with Calicutta marble floor, with large windows for plenty of light and shades for privacy. The primary suite has a large king bed with walk-in closet and adjacent hanging locker with plenty of additional storage throughout. As we exit the primary suite, we pass the electrical panel to starboard and head aft to a staircase in the salon leading to the three guest staterooms. To aft is a full beam VIP stateroom featuring a makeup desk area, king bed, vanity, and separate toilet and shower rooms. The room also features plenty of storage.
Moving forward, we find a second ensuite guest stateroom. It features a queen size bed, a large window for plenty of natural light, and private bathroom with toilet, vanity, and shower. This room also has a large walk-through closet that provides access to more storage, various plumbing fittings, and the bow thruster. This is very convenient when doing maintenance. Across the hall from this stateroom, you'll find the day head with full shower enclosure. The final stateroom, located forward of the day head, features two twin berths, TV, and hanging locker. Overall, the staterooms are well appointed, and you may be hard pressed on getting your guests to leave the boat. Next, let's check out the fly deck. The upper deck features plenty of freestanding furniture, a feature that allows the owner to really customize the area to suit their needs. Here, you'll also find a bar, sink, grill, fridge, and ice maker. Everything you need to really entertain well. The upper helm station is located on the center line with clear sight lines all around and is a near duplicate of the lower helm station. And finally, the hardtop includes a retractable roof when you want a little more sun or to just gaze up at the stars at night. But wait, there's more. Let's head to the bow. You'll notice the wide, comfortable walkways. I like that they cut out the bulwark to allow nearly unobstructed views from the interior through the large windows. At the bow, you'll find the windlass, a large adjustable sun pad, and a settee for entertaining. Last but not least, we head aft to check out the crew quarters and engine room. Accessed via a hatch door on the swim deck, the crew enjoys two separate rooms, a cooking area, a head and shower. You'll also find the washer and dryer in this area. Passing through the crew quarters, you'll enter the large engine room featuring two Volvo Penta IPS 1350 engines, a 29 kilowatt Onan generator, and a 21 and a half kilowatt Onan generator, and a Seakeeper 18 gyro to keep the boat rock steady. Mm -hmm. 